Yeah, I looked at all the other brands, um, Case and John Deere, and I thought that they were a lot heavier machine, so the two-wheel drive didn't seem to me. My neighbors got four-wheel drives, and I seemed to go through the same amount of stuff as them, because they're a lot heavier. I looked at a couple other, or the one other two-wheel drive machine, and I just didn't like the way it was laid out, and the fit and finish on it I didn't think was quite as nice, so that's why I stuck with the Apache. You know, some of the people that own those other ones, they say over time those can give you an issue, okay, those can give you problems if you own it for more than three or four years, so that was something we looked at, the simplicity, the ease of maintenance, stuff like that, you know, was also part of the equation. The transmission is a proven tranny. The motor is a Cummins. I mean, it's tough to get anything better than that. Um, drive lines are drive lines, rear ends are rear ends. I mean, and it seems like they got them sized to the power, right? So you're not over stressing anything. The drive line's strong enough. They seem to work really well together. The torque converter uh, is definitely nice. Uh, the 715 didn't have that, although it worked just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But this one here, it seems to give you that much more, a little bit more power, I guess. Essentially, I've had no troubles with either sprayer that way. Uh, no, they've been good. Like I said, this new one with a little more horsepower, a little different transmission shifts better. It's just been an improvement.